Welcome back everyone to Shovel Knight for the Wii- Yeah, it's the Wii U I'm playing us on, I forgot for a second. <laughs> it's like, I forget the Wii U's a console sometimes. Anyway, here we are, and it's shoveling time. Shoveling time. Shoveling time. Mm, isn't that someone else's, uh, expression thing? Oh, I remember these guys are so annoying. I already have the axe equipped for some reason. Must have been the last thing I was using in the previous stage? I have no clue. Now, I think I want to go to the left here. Ooh, yeah. I think we get a couple more gems this way, or more like two, but you know, that's all good. Ah, the game's so much easier underwater, it's like low physics. Space, there's no space stage in this game. Why is there no space stage? Does anyone else feel like, um... Ah, <laughs> oh, this is pretty easy to jump here. They're kind of, um, cause, you know, this game came out, like, ages ago, like, um, when did this game come out? I don't even know, like, <laughs> ages ago, <laughs> that's how long ago. And, um, got a rat. Yeah, get out of there. And, like, all they do is just make new DLC, you know? Like, any re- <laughs> Like, any other game maker, developer, dude, person would have just, like, made a sequel by now. And, like, I suppose the DLCs are okay, especially, like, I, sp eh, I don't know. <laughs> you just, you know what I mean, right, guys? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know why I'm bothering to kill this guy. I'm not going to go back and get those. And I swear, these rats did not use to die in two hits. Of course, I guess I'm meant to use this here. Oh yeah, give me that magic potion. Ha, oh, you been skipped, you knight guy. Get out of town, I don't need to kill you. Oh boy. These sli slimes are a problem. Now, is there any way to... No, there's no way to make your shovel stronger, is there? What I used to use to kill this room really quick? The balls? Well, yeah, that'd work, but I need to, you know, bust this open first. I uh, know, I think I actually just used to run through this room. <laughs> now they're all on fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like thinking, can I hit fire enemies with the shovel? Oh, actually, charge attacks are pretty good too. Can't forget I have those. They're like double the power, which is pretty good. Ooh, job, uh, almost killed myself there. Yes, yeah, so now down here, I gotta be careful, I believe. Or oh, no, that's not what I was thinking of. D down here is uh, a bit difficult though. I feel like it's a, I swear this part's like harder for a certain character, or maybe I'm thinking of Plague Knight, or no, actually, I don't think I'm thinking of anything at all, because I think even Shovel Knight has a hard time with this, because there's, um, there's like a certain enemy position that I've never been a fan of, it's not that guy there, or maybe it is. Whoa, 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 okay, well, he got crushed to death, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually, um, there's those, oh, <laughs> it's that... Oh, there's actually a ground here, so I don't have to worry about jumping. Neat. Yeah, it's those bloody, um, windblowy dudes that killed me in, um... What's-its-face's stage. You know, what's-its-face's stage. Yeah, that freaking guy. So, if, I think if you hide behind the statue, you're actually pretty good. So the statue can just sit there while I do this. It's a shame I can't fly. You know, Plague Knight, <laughs> it's like one of those self-imposed challenge things. He can actually get through this thing without using the, um statue because uh, of that whole double jump nonsense I've racked on about the other episode. Really a shame I'm not doing Plague Knight because I keep racking on about it like oh it's the, he's like the best guy ever which I actually do sort of like him a bit more than Shovel Knight maybe. Not that Shovel Knight's bad he's still pretty good. Ah see this is the problem here because because like you can't really you know, like and that happens. You can't really jump forward to hit him because the fire's there and then um Something, something. Uh, what else? What else happens? <laughs> yeah, and like, it's, you can't, can't jump to hit him. Can't um, like, get close to him. Can't move be like behind the thing, otherwise you get blown off. So it's really a no-win situation in a way. And take that. That's a much easier way to kill that guy. Uh oh, I hit that way too early. Way too early. Way too early. Ah! <laughs> Just survived by the nick of my. Rainbow. Ooh, I'm really pushing it today. Uh, uh, uh. I suppose, yeah, it's not that bad, but I have my secret weapon for taking care of this guy. 
which I did I, ne I never actually liked using this because I feel like this is the cheater item you know it's like well if something's too hard you just like kind of use this horn and like just instantly kill the problem yeah it's sort of it, it is actually much like a Mega Man in that regard I would prefer to just kill everything with the regular uh, you know buster thing instead of uh, using any of the weapons you get because I feel like the buster is the uh, neutral way to do everything Gee, what does this part here remind you of? Nothing from Super Mario World. Definitely not that ascending thing with the moving things just like this. Nah, totally <laughs> not. Gotta get that music nerd. You don't have to jump up there super quick like that, but it's much easier if you do it that way, I find. <laughs> to get that music note. That's, that music note's like a trap. It's like, your first playthrough, you'll always miss that the first time. You try and go get it and you'll die in the process. And you fail to jump up there, over, over to this side we go. That doesn't happen too often. Now, if I blow the horn here, I'm just going to blow up all the rocks. So, we can't have that because... Just kill the guy. Just, you know, just take the hit and just kill the guy. Yeah, always bad when, you know, there's like bloody bomb rats on them too. Yeah, always bad when the uh, only platforms are uh, breakable. Kind of reminds me of Super Mario World. <laughs> with, uh, you know, when you fight the big boo and your floor is just the pickup rock, so that's a lot easier than <laughs> anything in here. Alright, got wall chicken for me. Not that I really need it. Yeah, that's like the whole level though. Uh, just the bosses now. Going from Super Mario World back to uh, Mega Man. Final checkpoint, here we go. Let's see if we can't use all our items to make this an easy job. Uh-oh. <laughs> now this is rich. Who let this peasant in here to spoil our sumptuous supper? Hardly surprised that you've yet again set foot where you don't belong. We should uh, punish all no. that. <laughs> Got it. If I did his old campaign with that voice, I'd be dead. You're in deep now. We want a rematch. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. Because you haven't like apparently learned anything, I'm just going to kill you all just as easy. Uh, Polar Knight, though, is not the easiest one. It's actually good you're doing him first, though, because, like... Well, you don't always do him first, actually. The order is kind of random. Yeah, so it's good we're doing him first, I guess, because he's, like, the only one that can easily kill you, because even even in here, he still has these bloody spikes, as you can probably see. Well, actually, no, you can't, because he hasn't removed any of the snow yet. There we go. How are we going on life? Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> it's like, as soon as I kill the guy, this, they're all gone. Oh no, look, it's Hard Knight. Based on Hard Man, because he's so hard. <laughs> I just still find the fight with this guy hilarious, because you just like, as long as you just like move to the left and the right, he doesn't, he can't do anything. <laughs> wow, it's so hard. And it's like, every one, we get a meal thing too, don't we? And I didn't even pick it up that time, so... You know, I may as well fight this guy like normal, because I, you know, one hit KO'd him with his item last time. <laughs> so, we never got to see anything, but he's just pretty much like... He's like a joke boss, it's like sort of... He still actually takes quite a few hits, even if he is a joke boss, so... If you're doing like a minimal run, I think I actually think one of the achievements is, um, don't get any like upgrades. So yeah, this guy's actually pretty hard, because I think you still only have like minimal health, and you gotta kill this guy. Or maybe that's not an achievement, I don't know, maybe it's a... Another one of my crazy self-imposed runs. But yeah, definitely just, you know, just use his own item. It kills him pretty good. We still gotta fight this thing though, <laughs> it's just like, it falls down. Well, I guess it just crushed all the knights that were below it. Um, yeah, thanks for killing them for me. Ah, no, can we not fall off there? Can we please, like, be good at this? Like, you just gotta dodge the thing, man, dodge the thing. There we go, just jump on his head, just let him sit there and do nothing, because he's inadequate. Oh yeah. How's it feel, you little tin man, to get wrecked by the shovel of justice? Sh a shovel is a better tool than a spanner for destroying enemies. Now let's kill this guy like we killed him last time. Oh, I got hit this time though, I didn't perfect him. Such a satisfying boss fight to fight. And he doesn't um wreck holes in the ground this time, does he though? 
Ooh. I feel like he doesn't, so he only does this bomb thing instead of that other thing he did before. <laughs> that was pretty cool, how I just sort of like, killed him like that. Ah, oh, so now we've got Mr. Submarine Man. Well, I'll just kill you the same way I killed your father. Who was not your father, who was you. <laughs> Oh man, lots of damage on him there. Just like multiple spacks really fast. Smack, smack, smack. Uh, this is the one you gotta be careful of though. Huh. You know, I don't think I've actually ever jumped on him like that when I've been killing him. It's also good the other knights can uh, breathe underwater because, uh. Yeah, that would be bad if they all died there, because he just filled it all up. But I mean, if I can breathe underwater, they probably can too. That's only natural. Oh man, I still can't get used to Plague Knight's um, original, like, boss sprite. Because I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, like, you know, previously, like, 11 months ago, that his, um, you know, playable sprite is different to his, uh, you know, boss sprite. Oh, oh he's almost dead. He was actually pretty... Yeah, a lot of the knights I, f I find here are actually a lot easier because they don't do certain strategies. Like, um... That one with the uh, propeller knight I mentioned. Oh boy, I haven't fought this guy in like forever. Is there a strategy to this? Or you just like randomly jump around? I think I want to like... Yeah, that's right. You want to jump over him when you do that. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't fought this guy in 11 months. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right, and if you like, get him in the corner like that, you can just keep like whacking him. I remember now. But he's probably going to flee eventually anyway, so... Or maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I don't know, just, just whack the guy. <laughs> that's how we solve all problems in this game. Just use the shovel and make invincibility so you have an easier time. Hmm, that seemed to last a lot longer than normal. God, got to suck to be a mole knight down there, eh? He's just sitting there going, oh shit, I'm next, oh shit, I'm next. He's killed like literally everyone in a row, what the hell chance do I have? <laughs> Pretty none. Well, if they'd stop bloody feeding me these pork chops, then I'd have a much easier, well, they'd have a much easier time to feeding me. <laughs> but no, they've got to, you know, <laughs> let me join in the festivities. Now, where is he going to appear? Over there. Oh, no, we didn't get him. Yeah, because he, he skips... I'm, I'm pretty sure he skips this, like, thing he's doing now if you, uh, hit him there. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Legit barely remember anything about the bosses we fought, you know, before my break. <laughs> Although I did play the game a lot, that's why I have... Oh, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> I guess I usually kill him before he gets to doing that. And that's them all dead again. Well, I guess they didn't die the first time, though, unless these are ghosts. <laughs> Ooh, they're a ghost. They didn't stand a ghost of a chance. <laughs> Alright, I'll lift you all up. This is contradictory to the story, as in Plague Knight's campaign, he jumps down, so he should not be here right now, but, uh... Yeah, just take a, take a screenshot. It's a pretty nice uh, shot right there. But I have no time for your meaningless selfies. I must be on my way to rescue the shield knight from the person thing. <laughs> right up there. Now that's a short level, so... Alright, let's just... Let me actually just check to see if we did this, because I have no freaking clue. It's night time. I know it's locked, so I'm going to say we didn't do this. you got to pay bloody 5,000 to get in. And then there's... Now I'm locked in. Great. Haunted. Yeah, yada yada. It's not actually that big, so we should be able to get it done pretty quick. Although these ghosts can be bloody annoying. So, the goal here, I guess, is to, uh... Like, the, the place is literally just a, um... Giant, like, O shape. Like, I just entered the O, so now we're going around. You just gotta go around every room killing all the ghosts. It's pretty simple. Once you kill all the ghosts, the boss spawns. Reminds me of, like, an old, like, Warrior Land game or something in its structure. 
where it, the levels are pretty small, but there's a pretty simple, like, requirement, I guess. Who builds a place where a Shovel Knight cannot jump up without having to use a platform? As a matter of fact, how do these people even travel around this art museum, with it being, uh... You know, there's all these friggin' walls you have to shovel <laughs> in the way. Oh, I must have missed this one. There we go, got them all. Room lights up and we get to see the faces of all the, uh... Kickstarter backers. In fact, that might be why they didn't make a sequel, because this one was made, you know... by Kickstarter backers, but I guess something's been funding your DLC. <laughs> Light. Dark, light, dark. Can these ghosts even touch you? I think they can, but you know. Oh. We're falling through platforms, it's just like Mega Man 2. Well, I don't think this is the first stage that's happened. Oh, lame. Can I. This is gonna like fall down or what? Actually, you can get this back up there by just using the. Um, getting it through the holes. Which, let's see if I can't do that or not. <laughs> They're very small holes. Oh, up there. Y yeah! <laughs> Alright. Now we just gotta get this guy. It's actually annoying to be at full health here because, um, if you attack them, you know, they become invincible for a bit, which you might have noticed. Uh, I, for some reason I thought I could destroy that wall at the bottom there, so now I have to go back around. There's no. Yeah, you can't go upwards with Penel Pro Pen Penelope Knights. <laughs> Maybe that's its name when you turn it to a female. I don't know, maybe. I feel like I'm going the reverse order. Usually I go to the left first, so to go to the right first is a bit of a weird uh, detour type thing, but I suppose why not? Yeah, definitely can't break through there. Okay. So there's nothing to the... I'm just going crazy. I swear there's like a secret... Well, it's not really a secret, but, <laughs> but like breakable walls that lead to separate rooms on all four of the corners. But there's nothing over here. Okay, so I guess it's just this one, because I know for a fact the other two have a area you can go to. Oh, there's the Game Grumps portrait. It's like the only one that stands out, man. Well, I suppose digitizing a bunch of people's crappy pictures <laughs> wouldn't have probably been that entertaining of a task. I imagine, anyway. <laughs> could have been pretty fun. I don't know. But there's sure a lot of them, though. Kind of makes me wish I could have been on there. If only I had have known that Shovel Knight was a game. Yeah, like, this shit was already funded before I even knew what Kickstarter was. Oh, man. 3KO. I believe- I am- my name is in the credits of the, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 game, I believe, though. Not that many people like that. I mean, I'm, I like it, so, you know, more power to me, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's that room done. Oh, come on, come on. Where's the freaking? I know there's one here. Or maybe it's, uh... Huh. No, maybe I am crazy, because maybe there is only one on each side. Oh, great, we're doing this again. Now, the ghost will get us both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think, um, I think after we do this, we can actually come back in here, and if, when I stop falling through that, that'd be nice. And you can do, like, a challenge to break all the portraits the fastest. Alright, this is stupid. I'm skipping over this crap. With the power of this. <laughs> well, that really solved all my problems. Now the chest is open, I won't... There we go. Worth. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make you move too much faster. It's still pretty cool, though. Right, this is the last room, I believe. Then we can fight the boss. Just gotta... carefully juggle the ball. Hey, it's sort of like that uh, mini game we did uh, earlier in the first town. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's one hidden in here, so you have to break through that wall if you want to clear this place. So, we can just, like, exit at any time via the menu, right? The game, um, just shutting the door was just sort of like a... Some, well, I don't know, what is the word I'm even looking for right now? <laughs> gotcha. Pretty good amount of money in here, too. Alright, last one. Come on, come to Shovey. We... <laughs> come to Uncle Shovel Knight. <laughs> There we go, got you good. And I... Can I be bothered getting those? Mm, yeah, I can. Uh, actually, I think it might be only Plague Knight that has to destroy the, por the portraits. I have no clue. So here are all the ghosts I apparently killed earlier. Hey, you know, this is just like that uh, Thousand Year Door game. You know, it, you... Go no, you don't actually kill anything in that game. You just sort of, um... 
something or other. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, so you just gotta like get the ball up into this guy. Like I can't hit him, and I kind of hate um. <laughs> this is a really random subject to get on. Well, I suppose it's not too random, but um, I was actually thinking the other day because I used to play um, an online game. MMO or whatever called uh, Grand Chase, which shut down now. I really wish it wasn't, but um, I was just like randomly thinking that like, man, the final dungeon they ever released in this game, like the boss for it, is a boring ass thing. Where you just have to wait for these things to like power up so you can hit the final boss because he's you know too strong for you to even hurt. And I'm like, man, that is such a shit game mechanic. Like, who freaking wants to like, you know, progress through this game and like you know, feel like you become powerful and you're just like, oh, it doesn't even matter because we're just using this item to hurt him. Like, that's shit. And like, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I can't... But I'm sure there's like plenty of games where like, what, that that's actually a thing. Surely... <laughs> I was going to say, surely he'll be dead soon. I've hit him quite a few times. And there he goes. And the day is saved quite literally because as soon as I killed this ghost, it is daytime. So, the ghost was preventing daytime. It must be a bloody strong ghost to be able to, um... <laughs> Gave me 50. <laughs> alright, alright, I guess I'm out of here. Got my two, uh, music sheets, so that should be it. Clear. Ah, yes, yeah, so... That's definitely enough time for this episode. So, next time we will... Do the final level and make sure we got all the music notes, which I feel like we have. We might have missed something. I don't know. Oh, wait. Now I feel stupid. You just go to the music guy to check what notes you've got. Dumbass Josh. <laughs> oh, I suppose that doesn't really tell you which levels they're from, though. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next time for the final episode, I believe, of Shovel Knight. See you there.